what is happening guys welcome back to another youtube video if you're new around here my name is nicholas che today we're going to be talking about the best products that i've personally bought from amazon in this day and age going to traditional retail markets aren't really the wave especially when there are so many different products and availability online now before i get into this video i do just want to clarify that a lot of these things i'm talking about have been purchased over the past few months so no way am i saying you should buy all these right away especially given the fact that during this time amazon is really emphasizing only ordering essential products so please keep that in mind these are definitely items that can be saved to your wish list and be ordered at a later date so without further ado let's just jump right into it so first off i'm going to try to keep these items as affordable as possible nothing is really going to exceed the 30 to 40 dollar price limit and secondly a lot of these items are really just meant for organizational purposes or to help in terms of my productivity and making my life just a little bit easier so first off we're going to be talking about a valet tray now if you don't know what a valet tray is it's essentially just a leather tray where you can store miscellaneous items such as your keys wallets lip balm your phone can fit in here so this one i purchased from amazon about a few months ago and it's something that I just like to keep on my desk or my nightstand so that I have a place where I can just neatly store all the things that I need to that are going to be in my pockets. So anytime I leave the house or get back from going out, I'm just gonna place my wallet here, put my keys in here, and having something like this readily available is going to be super beneficial for your bedroom or any type of dorm room setup. Honestly, these are not expensive at all. I might consider getting another one just because I like the functionalities of it so much. I have it in this black leather color, but there are definitely other colorways that you can go for. If you don't have a valet tray, I highly recommend getting one. Now, in addition to that, a pretty similar item is going to be a jewelry organizer or just a nice jewelry box like this one the reason that i like products like these is that it just helps me organize and maintain all my accessories all my jewelries in one cohesive location so that anytime i'm trying to get ready i can easily pick out a necklace some earrings some bracelets they're all readily available so i use a spot right here for any rings i have my necklaces right here bracelets chapstick and then inside here is really helpful where i can store other glasses so anytime i want to swap out the frames that i'm wearing i have them readily available so this and the valley tray are two items that i think everyone should have in their bedroom Next up, you guys know I'm big into tech and organizing my desk setup or organizing the different gear that I have laying around the house is something that's a big priority to me. So first off, we're talking about this thing right here, which may look a little bit interesting, but let me explain the functionalities of it. It is essentially a wire snake or a wire organizer. And the way that it works is you place all the wires into this contraption and then you can just stream it through so that all of them are covered by this black plastic. You can see it right here as I have everything plugged into that outlet and it just wraps around my desk. It just allows my cables to be a little bit more organized and I hadn't known about these before, but for anyone who's trying to manage their cables, this is a must have. Now, in addition to that, this is the most recent pickup I got from Amazon, but these are little cable clips. And as you can see, they basically allow you to lay your cables in. So this is great, especially if you have like a charging cable by your bed that you don't want to keep falling off the side. You can easily clip it in here so that it's easily accessible. I also have these attached on the back of my desk so that anytime I need a cable, I can easily access it without it falling. So this one specifically has a variety pack. So this one can hold five cables. There's also one for individual cables and also one for three cables. So honestly, this cost about $13, but it's something that is really beneficial, especially if you have a lot of cables lying around. Now, in addition to that, like I said, I have a cable next to my bed, which honestly is not very convenient for me to reach. So having this extra, extra, extra long cable, I think this is almost like six feet long is a priority for me because the traditional cables that Apple provides are honestly not long enough at all. So like I said, this is honestly pretty long. It's definitely longer than I need, but I hide it in that corner so I can charge my phone from my desk or from my bed or basically anywhere this thing will reach. Like this is massively long. It's honestly probably excessively long, but yeah, you can't go wrong with having a long charger. Next up, don't hate me, but this is honestly probably one of my favorite things on this entire list. And basically what it is, is you clamp this on the side of your desk, the side of your bed, and then you can place your phone, you can place your tablet, any sort of device that will fit in this clamp. And it essentially just holds it in place for you. And the reason I got this is gonna sound kind of dumb, but I've been on FaceTime with Becca a lot. So having this to just hold my phone up so I don't have to hold it in my hands is actually pretty clutch. I'm also gonna be able to use this on the side of my desk so I can have my iPad as a second monitor. It's super well built. It's actually pretty hard to move around so if you're looking for something like this to hold your phone, your tablet, honestly, you can't go wrong with picking this thing up either. Now, the next thing that I'm going to show is on my desk right now, and I'll show some B-roll clips of it, but it is this desk pad. But the reason I have this is both for its functionality, but also for its design standpoint. But having a leather desk mat just adds a little bit more style to your setup, as well as it provides a great surface if you're ever writing on your desk. It also protects from water stains or anytime I have my coffee mugs, I'm setting it on that leather desk mat. One that I have is probably a little bit extra large size, but I definitely wanted something to cover my entire desk. And finally, I got it in this coffee colorway, which I think is a great staple of my desk setup. Next up, we have a few miscellaneous items. Obviously, the first one is going to be 
an RGB light strip. It's a little bit cliche and I wasn't really sure I wanted to add it to the list because literally everyone talks about RGB light strips, but I am a big fan of the ambience that it gives off. I have it taped under my desk so it gives it an underglow. I also think it looks really cool if you adhere it to the back of your TV so that bounces off the back wall or you can even line it under your bed to give it that underglow. RGB light strips nowadays are super affordable, but I definitely recommend getting something that's going to be high quality because these things do tend to break pretty easily. This thing right here, you're probably wondering what the hell this is, but essentially it's a footrest so that anytime you're sitting at your desk, you have somewhere to prop your feet up. It's definitely not an essential, but it allows you just a little bit more flexibility when you're working long hours at your desk. Now, last but not least, we're going to be adding a Alexa device because I definitely don't think a room is complete without having some sort of Echo product. There are tons of different configurations that you can get. This is the Echo Plus, which is a little bit bigger, but it has a speaker system built into it. So this is my primary source of music. Anytime I'm in my room, I will definitely just say, Alexa, play Spotify, and it will start playing music which I absolutely love. This is probably gonna be the most expensive thing on the list, but that's because the speaker is built into it. You can definitely get the Echo Dot, which is a lot smaller, and you can also connect your own Bluetooth speaker if you already have one. So that would be the cheaper recommendation. I also really like the Echo Shows, which have their own screen built into it. If I had to pick an Echo product right now, it would probably be the Echo Show. Guys, it's gonna wrap it up for these picks from Amazon. Honestly, like I said, none of these are essential. None of these are things that you need to buy as of right now. But if you are looking to do a little bit of shopping, especially as the fall comes up and you guys are looking to furnish your dorm rooms, definitely keep this list in mind. If you enjoyed these picks, make sure drop a like down below let me know if you guys have any of these items or if there's anything that you guys think i missed and subscribe for more videos i'll see you guys in the next one don't stress finesse